Yo, what's up? I'm Jaded Nerd. I want to take a couple of minutes and talk about Jesse Smollett and his family. More specifically, his brother, Jacquee Smollett. I may or may not have pronounced it correctly. If I mispronounced it, my bad. But his family's been very vocal since the release of Jesse Smollett. If you haven't heard, he served six days of 150 days. And he is now back with family, awaiting the outcome of the appeal process. His brother says that, quote, our community innately has a lot of homophobia in it. And they leveraged that fact. End quote. Jacqui said during an interview referring to the legal system that convicted his brother, they knew that ultimately Jesse was not going to get the type of support as a straight black man. And it's been obvious. I find it difficult to believe that this ever would have gotten this far if Jesse was a straight black man, he continued. And so we really need to think about that. Celebrities, common people, everyone. We need to think about the fact that literally society at large failed him. And hopefully the truth comes out to where people can see it as clear as day. I don't know how we don't see it now, but hopefully someday that happens. And when that day happens, it's really a shame that it took for long. It's really a shame that it took that long for folks to understand that. End quote. I have a couple of problems with what his brother is saying. The overall attitude and entitlement that reeks from them. To make this about straight black men versus gay black men, when you're speaking or hearing the rhetoric come from biracial people. I know that we typically look at people of multi-ethnic makeup and biracialness and we say, oh, you're just the one thing, but you're black and white. And there is homophobia within the white community, the black community, the Latin community, and so forth and so on. The very idea that you would invoke this, a straight black man would have privilege when we had incidents like George Floyd and many, many others for the women, Sandra Bland and many, many others. How many black men have been killed in the streets at the hands of law enforcement? Yet you walk around acting like we have somehow overcome. Here's what I think about this entire situation. I believe that you should support your brother, give him love and be there for him during the appeals process. I think you should count your lucky stars that he didn't have to do the 150 days. I think you should be elated that he didn't get the maximum three years. I think that you're fighting the wrong fight. You need to fix it. What do you think? Put everything in the comment section below. Did you enjoy this video? If so, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell to get the latest update. I'm Jaded Nerd. I'll talk to all of you next time.